Tiffany, I don't know where you're going with all this, but I'm dating your daughter. Step daughter. Besides, I'm not looking to steal you away from her. I just wanted to ask if you wanted to tuck me into bed. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so the cops must into this party, right? And started arresting so many people. It was so crazy. When they got to me and Sarah though, we just acted so innocent and started flirting with the officer. He just eventually let us go. You show those boys in blue who's really in charge. I mean, it wasn't planned that way, mom. But I mean, we don't want to go to jail. Hey, you're just using the skills your mama gave you. You still got any of their numbers? Mom, oh my gosh. They're so much younger than you. You wouldn't have liked them anyway. What does that matter? Your mom could use some younger energy these days. <laughs> so, how are things with you and dad? Do you guys still talk at all? Well, you know your dad. He ran off with some young bimbo. He's never gonna change. And men wonder why we act crazy. I'm sorry, mom. I shouldn't have even brought that up. Nonsense, sweetheart. He's still your dad. Here, let's get it some more. No more for me. <laughs> How about you, sweetheart? What's the latest? Are you dating anyone? Well, I am actually. It's new, but it looks promising. He's a little bit older than me, though. Who cares? Age is nothing but a number. What's his name? What does he do for a living? And how much does he make? His name's David. He runs his dad's construction company. And I don't really know how much he makes. I haven't got that far to ask him yet. Sweetheart, you have to know these things. They're important. When do I get to meet him? How about right now? You invited him over? He's only stopping by for a bit. I told him I want to spend time with you while I'm in town. Well, allow me to introduce myself. <sighs> well, hello there, handsome. Um. I'm not sure if I'm at the right address. I'm looking for Alexis. Are you Mrs. Saunders? Well, that depends. Are those flowers for me or my daughter? Uh, for you, of course. Good answer. Come on in. You made it. Hey, those flowers are for you. It's OK. Mom, come over here. I want you to meet David. Oh, we met at the door. Charming fella. He brought me flowers. Well, I'm gonna leave you two to talk. I still haven't even called dad yet. He doesn't know I'm in town. Please, have a seat. So, David, how old are you? Um, I'm 31, Mrs. Saunders. Please, call me Tiffany. Oh, I'm, I'm 31, Tiffany. 31, huh? That's a good age. You know my daughter's only 20, right? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm aware. Is, is that okay with you? Or? It's okay. Uh, I just find it kind of funny. You're actually closer to my age than you are hers. I'm 40. Oh. Yeah, I, I guess I never really thought about that. You seem nervous. Me? Nervous? No. Do I make you nervous, David? It's okay if I do. I have been told I'm an attractive woman. What do you think? I mean, you're, um, yeah. I mean, yeah, you're attractive. Not your type? I'm not sure exactly what you're getting at, Mrs. Saunders. Tiffany. Tiffany. I'm not exactly sure what you're getting at, but these are weird questions. I, I, I'm, I'm dating your daughter. Step. I'm sorry? She's my stepdaughter, not my actual daughter. Well, I have raised her her whole life, but she's not my real daughter. Oh, I didn't know that. Relax, David. I'm only having fun. Hey, you guys have a good talk? Oh, yes, we had a great talk. I like him. I told him he could stay the weekend if he'd like. That'd be awesome, Mom. David, now you don't have to get a hotel. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's great, right? Well, I'm going to leave you two alone. I have Mom things to take care of. So what'd you think? Not what you expected? 
Definitely not what I expected. She's um... a nut job. Yeah, that's my mom. As wild as she is, though, I love her. Hey, um, I didn't know that she wasn't your real mom. Yeah, well, she's the only mom I know. So as crazy as she is, that's the hand I was dealt. But hey, that's really exciting news. You get to spend the night. Yeah, yeah, I guess that is great news, right? Mm -hmm. You ready to go to dinner? Yeah, let's get out of here. Jesus, Tiffany, you scared the heck out of me. What are you doing up so late? I had a nightmare, couldn't sleep. Did you ever have a nightmare, David? You know, the kind that keeps you up all night? I used to, not anymore. How'd you get rid of them? I don't know, they just kind of went away on their own. Well, you're a guy, it's probably easy for you to feel safe at night. A woman like me needs a man for comfort. Listen, Tiffany, this whole situation is making me feel really... Alive? I can relate. It's always the forbidden fruit that tastes the best. Wouldn't you agree? You probably think I'm crazy, don't you? No, no, I... I don't think you're crazy. Damaged goods? No. no I don't think that either. So what do you think of me, David? I think... I think it's time for you to go to bed. Wow, that was a boring response. I thought you'd be a little more adventurous than that. <sighs> Tiffany, I don't know where you're going with all this, but I'm dating your daughter. Step daughter. Besides, I'm not looking to steal you away from her. I just wanted to ask if you wanted to tuck me into bed. You coming? <laughs> Mom, your clothes are in the dryer. Can you fill them in my room for me, honey? Hey babe, you busy? Oh, never too busy for my fiance. Wow, look at that thing. Right, it always sparkles in the daytime. Hey, I wanted to show you something I found in my mom's jeans. Yeah, what is it? Is that what I think it is? Yeah, and in my mom's jeans. I didn't even know she could get pregnant at her age. Yeah, me neither. Hey honey, where'd you put my... Where'd you get that? Mom, you're pregnant? Mom? I don't know, Alexis. Why don't you ask David? Wait, you knew about this? What? No, no, I, I, I had no idea. Oh yeah, I'm sure he had no idea. I mean, one plus one does equal two, doesn't it, David? Dude, what is she talking about? Did you know she was pregnant? No, I had no idea. This is the first time I'm hearing about this. Well, he is telling the truth about that part. But he should have an idea since he's the one who didn't want to wear protection. David, what the hell is she talking about? I have no idea what this psychopath is talking about. Seriously. David, your fiance wants to know what you're talking about. Why don't you tell her? Tell her? Tell her what? What? There's nothing to tell her. What? What's going into you? Apparently you have. Multiple times, might I add. Honey, David and I have been sleeping together for months now. What? David! I'm sorry, babe. I, I wanted to tell you. It was a mistake, okay? It was just a one-time thing. 
I wanted to tell you, I just didn't know how. One time thing? You mean once a week thing? When was the last time? Let me think, last Tuesday? Remember when David offered me a ride to work? Well, he gave me a lot more than a ride. Oh my God, that is disgusting, David. How could you? Get your stuff and get out of my house. And mom? I have no words for you. I have no words for me either. Goodbye, David. It was fun while it lasted, but I guess all good things must come to an end, right? Jesus. I hope you guys got a message out of today's life lesson with Luis. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified every time we release a new video. And as always guys, make sure to share this with someone that you love.